Gentlemen, we have some breaking news just out from Reuters on the Ukraine front. The United States envoy to the United Nations says that there is evidence on the ground that Russia is moving toward what they are calling an imminent invasion. They say that this is a crucial moment. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has changed his travel plans last minute to speak at a U.N. Security Council meeting today. You can see the futures ticking lower on this news, down by about 85 points. Um, again, these are marginal declines at this point, but certainly the opposite direction from where we were headed a few minutes ago. Um, this has all been following up on news that we've been hearing from Russia throughout the morning, saying that they are, in fact, on the front line, and it will take them some time to remove the troops after the United States called them out, saying they have not seen any troop movement moving away from that. Taking a look at what's been happening in the Treasury market right now, the 10-year yielding uh, above 2 percent, but just barely, 2.003 percent. That's a slightly lower yield than what we started this morning. I'm not sure if we've looked at oil prices through the course of some of this, too, but we should keep an eye on that market as well. Again, the future's moving modestly lower on this, and Anthony Blinken changing his travel plans today to go to speak to the U.N. WTI this morning is down by about six-tenths of a percent, and natural gas, despite these headlines, down by about 1.1 percent.